you, baby. Raul, 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 You want a seven question game or a 21 question game? Thank you. The, uh, the All over it. 30 seconds. Okay, your buzzer is B as in baby's breath, which isn't really as pleasant as one would think. No, I'm sorry. That's not my job. Yeah, somebody change that yeah, color filter. Right. You bet that's okay. If you could do that, I'd appreciate really it. Bad. Thanks. You know, when I took that. Oh, holy mackerel. Okay, uh, listen up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? It's simple. Ten seconds. Hey, good luck. Nine. And eight, get rid of the desktop. Seven. Six. Action. Five, Take it to black. Four. Here we go. Tea Three. Mini Motec action figures. They're not dolls. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey there, my name's Cookie. You have any questions at all, please feel free to keep them to yourself. Anyway, ah, the game of solitaire. That's okay, I'm here alone too. So let's get it on. Okay, pick a category. Well, looks like this category is... They never really bull-weaveled me over. This one's worth a grand. Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. If the Beatles had changed their name to the Bull Weevils, what would you expect one of their song titles to be? Leatherback Rider, Yellow Submarine Mammal, I Wanna Kill Your Cotton, or Norwegian Wood Eater? The Bull Weevil is a beetle which kills cotton plants. Other Bull Weevil hits include Can't Buy Me Dead Cotton, Dead Cotton Lane, and Destroyed Cotton Fields Forever. Okay, I need a category. Coming at you, throw up stories of the Highway Patrol. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Alrighty, imagine that someone you know gets pulled over for drunk driving. Not you, of course, you're above that. Which of the following commands tests an inebriated driver's kinesthesis? Tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, take a breath and blow into this tube, say the alphabet backwards, or close your eyes and touch your nose. Sir, please say the alphabet backwards. The alphabet backwards. <laughs> I got you there. In case you're wondering... Kinesthesis is the sense of where your body parts are and how they're moving. It's the sense that helps you touch your nose while your eyes are closed. For instance, if I'd been drinking, I wouldn't be able to... Oh, uh, let's, let's move on. I need a category. One, two, two, brings me a mighty three. Shake hands with. And you thought they were morons. $1,000 at stake on this one. All right, the next time someone tries to tell you the Three Stooges are lowbrow, well, they'll probably be right. Still, imagine the scenario. Suppose Larry flings a pie at Moe in order to demonstrate Newton's first law of motion. Assuming they're in a vacuum, what will the pie do? Would it move backwards in time, propel Larry sideways, lose heat to surrounding pies, or fly evenly until stopped by Moe's face? According to Newton's first law of motion, an object will continue to move in a straight line and at a constant speed until something interferes with it. <laughs> and since they're in a vacuum, this will happen right before Mo suffocates to death. And everyone will have a good laugh. Category, please. You can't stop at three. No, you gotta head for. And this one is picky, picky, picky. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Maybe you can help me out here. I'm going to show you a close-up of a picture. Take a good look and tell me. What the heck is this? Fly larva, the inside of an oyster, fossilized dinosaur spore, or Teddy Roosevelt's mustache. It's Teddy Roosevelt's mustache is depicted on Mount Rushmore. 
Apparently, tourists aren't allowed too close to the monument because of falling crumbs from the stash. All right, hit me. Let's blow this time and head for number five. Open wide and get ready for when pet lovers go too far. You get this one right and it's $3,000. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. In an effort to be fair to your pets, you're considering vacation spots suggested by your cat. If you want to go to an English-speaking country, which of his choices should you pick? Molly, Malawi, Oman, or Myanmar. They speak English in Malawi. And they have great accommodations there, too. A little bowl of milk at night, and they scratch you under the chin. Quite nice. Okay, pick a category. Six. Okay, give it up for... If you knew Susie like I knew Susie, thousand bucks if you get it. Ready? Now listen closely. Oh Susan B. Anthony was an American suffragette born in Massachusetts in 1820. In 1872, she was arrested and fined $100 for casting a ballot before women were allowed to vote. She refused to pay the fine, calling on her 14th and 15th Amendment rights. So tell me... If Susan B. Anthony paid her fine with Susan B. Anthony coins, how many would she need? 100, 200, 400, or 1,000? Aw, oh, just can't do anything right, can you? See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony was fined $100, so she'd need to hand over 100 Susan B. Anthony dollars. But even she thought they looked like quarters, and she refused to use them. I need a category. Seven, lucky, lucky seven. This little number is known as subatomic siblings in the nuclear family. How does $2,000 sound? Okay, we all know the Cleaver family from Leave it to Beaver is the perfect nuclear family. So, imagine the Cleaver home is an atom. If Warden June are protons and Wally and Beaver are electrons, what is the family's atomic number? Zero, two, four, or 69? Two, the atomic number is equal to the number of protons, in this case, Ward and June. <laughs> Which proves once and for all that in the 50s, children didn't count. Category, please. Uh-oh, blah, 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 blah. It's time for a crash crash Take a look at your gibberish category. Those grapes are bad seeds. How about $5,000 to start this gibberish question? Now listen up. Every second and a half, some of the cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to be quick. Okay, get ready to buzz in and type. With what common phrase does this rhyme? Dine on a rotted vine. This could be it. Type in your answer and hit return. I usually just play connect the dots. You know, it's kind of fun. Okay, I need a category. Aloha, question number nine. The selection is, tell me, have you seen her? I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Hey, did you know those cards that are used to test people's ESP abilities are called Zener cards? Well, if you were to play poker with a deck of Zener cards, you could wind up with any of these hands except which? A pair of X's, two pair stars and circles, three of a kind, all plus signs, or a full house, wavy lines and rectangles. You must have ESP. There are no cards marked with an X in a deck of Zener cards. And there aren't any cards in my poker deck marked with an X either, as far as anybody knows. All right, hit me. All right, time to get hot and bothered, because you've been invited to a three-way. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're going to see a three-way like this one. 
Go for your buzzer when you see the correct three-way member lit up. If it's the right match, you'll score. But be careful, if you don't make a correct match, you'll lose some cash every time you're wrong. And be careful, individual answers don't necessarily have anything to do with the three-way as a group. Okay, let's get down and dirty. Let's just say this one's known as a nun in a blender. You've heard the old joke, right? Because this three-way is black and white and red all over. Time to bust a move. Good luck. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! That's all we got. Now let's see how you did. Wow, I'm just speechless. Uh, you're the best I've ever had, I swear. Uh, while I regain my composure, let's check out your overall score. Well, it seems we're moving on now. Let's see what's up next. Okay, we're halfway home. Let's see how round two treats you. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. Okay, pick a category. Don't look now! Now serving etiquette scandal at 1600. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Okay, imagine this scenario. Suppose Bill Clinton had pulled out an Arkansas toothpick at his inauguration banquet and got dragged off to the police station. What would the charge have been? Trying to baptize the staff, assault with a deadly weapon, indecent exposure, or espionage? Arkansas toothpick is down home slang for buoy knife. Luckily, the meatloaf sustained only superficial wounds. I need a category. I'm getting a rating of 12. Over. Here we have, it all started with my mother. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Flex those fingers, cause here it comes. Which of these superheroes' reasons for fighting crime is the best example of the Freudian concept of sublimation? Captain Marvel being chosen by his elders, the Phantom inheriting the job from Dad, Batman avenging his parents' murder, or Spider-Man getting bit by a radioactive bug? <laughs> sublimation occurs when aggressive impulses are altered and expressed in more acceptable ways. <laughs> So basically, all that truth and justice crap is a defense mechanism against hatred and madness. Now that's the stuff of heroes. Category, please. Well, what do we have here? In the beginning, there was a truck stop diner. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Let's see how you handle this one. Say in the Garden of Eden were a truck stop diner. Based on the creation story, what dish might you expect to suddenly morph into a woman? Adam's apple pie, Adam's bear claw, Adam's prime rib, or Adam's fish fingers? Eve was fashioned from Adam's rib. And Adam and Eve's kids? I think they were fashioned out of Adam's coleslaw. Okay, I need a category. Looks like there's no lack of bravado here. You've chosen an impossible question. This one's called, Large Men Working Out With One Hand. This very special question is going to be worth $20,000. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Who took first place in the one-hand lift in the 1896 Olympics? Alexandros Nikolopoulos of Greece, Viggo Jensen of Denmark, Launceston Elliott of Great Britain, or Josef Steinbach of Austria? Launceston Elliott won with a lift of 71 kilograms. And he received his medal with pride, knowing that his name would be remembered forever. Or would at least be kept on long lists in very tiny print forever. Alright, hit me. 
Not fourteen, not sixteen, you're right in between. And I believe this one's called, My Mom Loves Me, I think. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Heads up, here it comes. If your new lunchbox comes equipped with a thermos that only holds things found in the thermosphere, which of the following things could you enjoy at lunch? Molten lava, a tornado, the northern lights, or salt water? The northern lights reside in the thermosphere, over 50 miles up into the Earth's atmosphere. I'll trade you my Fritos for your Aurora Borealis. Uh, okay. Category, please. I got some good news for you. You're about to move into a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat question is... Go get the hose, Petey and Chomp Chomp are stuck. Now I'm gonna read off seven nicknames, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's a Pac-Man ghost or a little rascal. As each name comes up, if it's a ghost from Pac-Man, press one. If it's a little rascal, press two. And if you wanna skip one, press four. I'll give you a thousand dollars for a right answer, and a thousand taken away for each incorrect answer in any that you don't get to. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go in. Blinky goes to rest. Froggy. Inky. Pinky. Spanky. Stymie. Last one, Clyde. That's all she wrote. Goodness gracious, this, that, whatever, you had it down. Take a look at your score. Enjoy your moment. Okay, that's enough. Let's move on. I need a category. On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. Say hello to the split ends are killing me. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Hey, is my hair getting long? I think it's time for a haircut. Take a look at this picture and tell me. Who has just gotten a haircut here? Strawberry Shortcake, Raggedy Ann, Morticia Adams, or Cindy Lauper? Raggedy Ann's hair is a bunch of red yarn. And so are her hairdresser's sweaters. Coincidence? All right, hit me. The category is do-it-yourselfers. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Here comes the fun, kids. Get ready to finish this analogy. Pink Floyd is to Roger Waters as River Dance is to what? Flash Dance, Lord of the Dance, Ireland, or Muddy Waters? Roger Waters left Pink Floyd so he could make his own music, just like Michael Flatley left River Dance to become Lord of the Dance. Too many artistic differences, I guess. No, it's stomp, 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 stomp. Not stomp, stomp, stompity, stomp, stomp. Oh. Okay, pick a category. May I introduce Soldiers of Misfortune? How does four thousand dollars grab you? Hey, did you ever go through the classifieds to see what people were offering? Well, get ready to buzz in and start typing when you can tell me who placed this classified. Protection for hire. Can't call the police. Fugitive war veterans ready to help. Don't let the Mohawk guy or crazy pilot intimidate you. You won't find us. We'll find you. Who placed this classified? Run with it. Type in your answer and hit return. Mohawk guy, crazy pilot, frame war veterans, it could only be the A-team. Man, if they're this desperate for cash, they could get B.A. to hawk some of his jewelry. Okay, I need a category. This one likes to go by. That's not what I'd call him. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Think fast. Who of the following best fits the post-Civil War definition of a scalawag? Newt Gingrich, Rush Limbaugh, Long John Silver, or Fuzzy Zeller? Boom, 
must have hit the wrong key. It happens. <laughs> hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. During the Reconstruction, Southern Democrats called any Southern-born Republican a scalawag. I don't know, whenever I want to insult someone, I just call him a newt. I need a category. You're about to... All right, fine. You want to get to the attack? Consider it done. You may need this clue. What's your sign? Well, you sure better hope it's not dead end. Good luck. Way to go, player. It, it's like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose as long as you get to play with yourself. Now get the hell away from the computer and go make some friends, because... You don't know That's a wrap, Jack. folks. Give yourselves a little pat on the back. And Raul, are we doing another one of these? Well, player, you are currently our You Don't Know Jack champ. First place, top score, number one, and it doesn't really mean much of anything. If you'd like to play again, let me know. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. It's also good for my dumb brother. Hey, Biff, Mommy said I could go to the mall with you. Who told you to take your head out of the toilet, you little freak? You wear girls' underwear and rub your wee-wee. Uh, saddle up, Tex. We're, we're going shopping. <laughs> yeah. And it works really great on grown-ups. Cindy, turn off the TV and go to bed. I'll go to bed when I'm good and ready, you pathetic nobody. Oh, I guess a few more minutes won't hurt. My little doppelganger is my best friend. Mwah. Keep your gross lips off me and do something about that canker sore, would ya? <laughs> My Little Doppelganger, also available, My Little Split Personality, and My Little Addiction. Have a good day at work, honey. Don't forget to pick up Sally from her ballet class, retile the bathroom, and meet me at the PTA meeting tonight. Okay, dear, I'll see you tonight. I'm a man, a real man. And being a man, I have special needs. In these hectic times of 60-hour work weeks, raising a family and seeing what's on cable, a man has to make sure he takes care of himself. That's why I drink man juice for men. Man juice is a natural blend of fresh barley, brewed hops, old spice, bananas fried in butter, and love. Manly love. Oh, honey, I nearly forgot. I also need you to build a sun deck before you leave for work. No problem at all. Not with man juice. Oh, and dear, don't forget about our plans for after the meeting. Oh, honey, I love you and your man juice. Man juice for men. If you're not drinking man juice, then you must be a wuss. I am not a hero. I am not an example to be held up to children. I host a trivia game. I don't know how to solve the world's problems. I do know how many episodes of Police Squad there were. I am not a teacher. I cannot educate the youth of America. I like the word dick sizzle. This really isn't a commercial. It's just me talking about myself. Did I use the dick sizzle thing already? I am not a hero.
Does your house smell like ass? Find out what you can do tonight. Boys, you haven't seen realistic battle action until you've seen medieval tech action figures. More weapons, more scenarios. And these dolls are made out of the toughest plastic. They're not dolls, they're action figures. Are they small representations of the human form? Yes. Then they're dolls, and they come with mix and match fashion accessories. That's removable battle armor, and they have action grip hands. Perfect for tea parties. Medieval tech action figures. They're not dolls! Have you been throwing away that old mayonnaise? How condiments could improve your love life tonight. Out! Out! Do your thighs sweat and chafe when you walk? Yes. Eliminate chub rub forever with the new cellulite lubricant, Cellulube. It'll grease up your flabby spots. I used to be a supermodel, but now I sell embarrassing personal items. So? Go buy it. Why suffer painful sores and blisters when you wear hot pants? Slide through with Cellulube. With Cellulube, my thighs don't stick together. I can even wear Daisy Dukes. Hey, I have jock itch. Get your own product, buddy. Wait, I'll walk with you. Ooh, your thighs are so slippery. Don't let Chub Rub ruin your social life. If you have thunder thighs, Ow. you need Cellulube. 